The United States presidential election of 1808 was the sixth quadrennial presidential election, held from Friday, November 4, to Wednesday, December 7, 1808. The Democratic-Republican candidate James Madison defeated Federalist candidate Charles Coatsworth Pinckney decisively. Madison's victory made him the first individual to succeed a president of the same party. Madison had served as Secretary of State since President Thomas Jefferson took office in 1801. Jefferson, who had declined to run for a third term, threw his strong support behind Madison, a fellow Virginian. Sitting Vice President George Clinton and former Ambassador James Monroe both challenged Madison for leadership of the party, but Madison won his party's nomination and Clinton was renominated as Vice President. The Federalists chose to renominate Pinckney, a former ambassador who had served as the party's 1804 nominee. Despite the unpopularity of the Embargo Act of 1807, Madison won the vast majority of electoral votes outside of the Federalist stronghold of New England. Clinton received six electoral votes for president from his home state of New York. This election was the first of two instances in American history in which a new president was selected but the incumbent vice president won re-election, the other being in 1828. Nominations Democratic-Republican Party nomination Presidential candidates James Madison Virginia, Secretary of State James Monroe, Virginia, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Kingdom George Clinton, New York, Vice President of the United States Vice presidential candidates George Clinton, New York, Vice President of the United States Henry Dearborn, Maine, Secretary of War John Quincy Adams, Massachusetts, United States Senator. Topic: Caucus. Nominations for the 1808 presidential election were made by congressional caucuses. With Thomas Jefferson ready to retire, supporters of Secretary of State James Madison of Virginia worked carefully to ensure that Madison would succeed Jefferson. Madison's primary competition came from former Ambassador James Monroe of Virginia and Vice President George Clinton. Monroe was supported by a group known as the Tertium Quids, who supported a weak central government and were dissatisfied by the Louisiana Purchase and the Compact of 1802. Clinton's support came from Northern Democratic Republicans who disapproved of the Embargo Act which they saw as potentially leading towards war with Great Britain and who sought to end the Virginia dynasty. The Congressional Caucus met in January 1808, choosing Madison as its candidate for president and Clinton as its candidate for vice president. Many supporters of Monroe and Clinton refused to accept the result of the caucus. Monroe was nominated by a group of Virginia Democratic Republicans, and although he did not actively try to defeat Madison, he also refused to withdraw from the race. Clinton was also supported by a group of New York Democratic Republicans for president even as he remained the party's official vice presidential candidate. Topic: Balloting. Topic: Federalist Party nomination. The Federalist Caucus met in September 1808 and re-nominated the party's 1804 ticket, which consisted of General Charles Coatsworth Pinckney of South Carolina and former Senator Rufus King of New York. <laughs> General election Campaign <laughs> 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 The election was marked by opposition to Jefferson's Embargo Act of 1807, a halt to trade with Europe that disproportionately hurt New England merchants and was perceived as favoring France over Britain. Nonetheless, Jefferson was still very popular with Americans generally and Pinckney was soundly defeated by Madison, though not as badly as in 1804. 
Pinckney received few electoral votes outside of New England. Topic: Results. Pinckney retained the electoral votes of the two states that he carried in 1804, Connecticut and Delaware, and he also picked up New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and three electoral districts in North Carolina besides the two electoral districts in Maryland that he carried earlier. Except for the North Carolina districts, all of the improvement was in New England. Monroe won a portion of the popular vote in Virginia and North Carolina, while the New York legislature split its electoral votes between Madison and Clinton. Source: Popular Vote, U.S. President National Vote. Our Campaigns, February 10, 2006. Source: Popular Vote, A New Nation Votes, American Election Returns 1787 to 1825. Source: Electoral Vote. Electoral College Box Scores 1789 to 1996. National Archives and Records Administration. Retrieved July 30, 2005. A, only 10 of the 17 states chose electors by popular vote. B. Those states that did choose electors by popular vote had widely varying restrictions on suffrage via property requirements. C. One elector from Kentucky did not vote. Electoral college selection See also History of the United States 1789 First inauguration of James Madison United States House of Representatives elections, 1808 and 1809 United States Senate elections, 1808 and 1809